Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and today I have made a decision. It's it's actually this is the first day that I have recorded one of these since the started to release on the channel, and uh, the the full. 25 glorious episodes have been released as well as some of the bonus episodes and they were pretty warmly received i do have to say not all the bonus episodes have gone out yet but in case you haven't caught on we're still doing the 25 minute thing but we're not releasing them every hour that would be actually impossible because there's no way i have the time to record them and edit them at, at this point you know maybe if i held on to them for next month and then did another burst over a 25 five, five hour period but we're not going to do that we're just going to you know maybe every couple of days have one of these or maybe have a couple in a day depends on how much time i have to record edit upload all of that good stuff i mean upload bandwidth speed is an actual issue for me that i have to deal with um that that, <laughs> that is actually something that sort of contributes to to whether or not we can uh, you know, get these out in a reasonable amount of time. I, I was thinking about something. I, I don't think I've seen any comments about this, but there's a limited amount of power copper cables can transfer, and I don't think we've reached that point because the generators, oh, they kind of are hoarding energy, though, aren't they? I, I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, why are we... We have so many generators running. I mean, yes, we've got a lot of machines, but... Oh, right, we can fly now. That That doesn't explain why power is not flowing as efficiently as it could be. Uh, so we're going to attempt to fix that today using some glass fiber cables. Good gosh. I tried to uninstall Optifine to see if that would fix that problem because the only reason I had Optifine installed in the first place was because Optifine, I was trying to fix the scaling issue, which as you can tell, never fixed it. And I thought, well, maybe I should uninstall it because for some reason that hadn't occurred to me before. And uh, well, spoilers, that didn't fix it. We still have this issue uh, with scaling. Did that change anything? Did that do anything? Uh, kind of, actually, it did. That's still low, but this is starting to fill up very slowly. I should have thought about this sooner. I think the problem was... Oh yeah, look, that's running full speed. I was in such a rush previously, you know, to get all the episodes done. I'm sure many of you noticed, I mean, the destruction catalyst issue. I, I completely forgot it even existed. And I think that a, very, a lot of very simple things that would have made my life a lot easier kind of just flew past my brain because I wasn't paying any attention. Can you still make these with silver? We, we don't even have silver. Wow! Is that not what this is? Tin. Okay. Well, I know you can make them with what? Diamonds? Glass? Glass fiber? What goes into a glass fiber cable? Uh, fiber? Yeah, I was moving so quickly and I wasn't really taking time to sit down and think about my actions. So much so that I did a lot of things that were not sort of, you know, the, the best way of doing things. And I'm ready to correct that. No more rushing. Last episodes, you know, you frequently heard me say things like, we don't have time for that. But really, we do. You know, we're no longer on a schedule. We no longer have a time limit. If I want to make a recycler and get some recycled metal, I can do that. Although, I don't know if that's how you get recycled metal. Uh, I should have looked it up. I'm sure there were comments. You know, those videos haven't gone out yet. Those couple of videos haven't gone out yet. But uh, it's from Industrial Craft Classic. One would assume... Scrap metal. Scrap. Where do you get scrap from? I mean, this is scrap, and this is scrap metal. Bunch of scrap will make a scrap box. What are uses for scrap? Just making a scrap box? Fertilizer? You can use it as a fuel, apparently? I don't know how to get scrap metal. Scrap metal blade. Scrap metal chunk. So if you can press the scrap metal... Wait a minute. Uses for that? Oh, hold on. We don't need this at all. We don't need that at all, do we? Because all we got to do is get... Oh, wait, no, yeah, because we got to get the... Okay. All right, uh, maybe I'll Google that. Maybe we'll do a live Google because, you know, we're still on a time limit. But uh, let's go ahead and replace the rest of these cables so that this will no longer be an issue for us, a bottleneck for us, a really dumb bottleneck, one that I should have foreseen long ago, just like the Emperor. You know, I should be foreseeing things like the Emperor. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, right, I can, I can fly. It's, it's a thing that I'm still not used to. So we can connect up to right there. And look, we don't have that ridiculous tangle of cables back here anymore either. Uh, this is a lot cleaner, I think. It's not ideal, but it is a lot cleaner. And if we fly around here to the front, this should still be going full speed. Yeah, we ha do have an issue now where, interestingly enough... Wow. It, it's running at full speed. There's no bottlenecks. I was going to say the only bottleneck is it's not running fast enough. But we can fix that when we build that next tier of macerator 
which you better believe we're going to do. I've got plans for that today. We're going to get underway. And was that what we needed scrap for? Is it, Was that it? I think that it was because we needed these to make the next tier macerator. We also needed the carbon plating and the advanced alloy. Now, the carbon plating requires that we break down a lot of coal or does it? Should I say dust it? Because we can get coal dust right out of here. And then what? We put four of these together and that'll give us the the raw carbon fiber, and then from there we can get the raw carbon mesh, and then from there we can get the... No, oh, was that just straight up it? Was that... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, carbon plate? Yeah. Raw carbon mesh. It's gone flying. We've got 32 of them, though. We just have to compress them, and we have a compressor specifically for tasks like these. So I will leave it in here, running for now. Should we deal with this, or should... I mean, can I, can I confess to you, I've thought about just shutting this whole thing down even though yes we do still need fuel we can just sort of we can, we can get fuel out of here where we've got all of this emc being generated we went ahead and we already shut down the level three the the tier three and, and i might rebuild it at the end you know after we defeat the end dragon just to say hey look i did it I, i've done it mission complete tier three but it's not really necessary it takes up a lot of time and I think we can better invest that EMC elsewhere. While we're waiting on that to happen, we need to go ahead and make the, the next stage in all of this. Let's go ahead and let's get up the macerator. We'll, we'll get that up there. The rotary macerator is what we're working towards. Next up, we're going to need the advanced alloy. We've made that before. It doesn't have an EMC value, though. So it's going to be... Was it bronze or was it copper? I, I get the two confused in recipes. Not in real life. They do have a different color, though. I need to keep that uh, ahead. We just need to remember that, that bronze is the alloy, and it's prettier than copper. I mean, some people, you might like copper. Maybe you have a copper pot or something that you like to look at, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, isn't that the pot calling the copper kettle an alloy? It's been a weird day for me, okay? I have no justification for the things coming out of my mouth other than I am tired. Uh, tin and refined. Goodness gracious. I hope none of you are holding me to too high a standard. I mean, if you've made it this far in the series, you ought to know what it is you're getting yourself in for when you start one of these videos. I did have a revelation earlier today. Minecraft, for some reason, is is getting a lot of attention, and there's a lot of people... Oh, good gosh, what have I done? We've got a lot of tin cables now. Well, if you need to carry really low voltage power over a really long distance, we can, we can do that now. Uh, Minecraft's real big again, which is very strange for me. Uh, I, I say again, I think that a lot of publications like, Minecraft's big again. Was Minecraft ever not big? Maybe it wasn't big in the mainstream, but as a person who runs a channel that I like to say is not a Minecraft channel, but that does put out an awful lot of Minecraft content, uh, Minecraft has yet to be unpopular around here. It continues to get a lot of clicks. I think the thing is, it's very popular with younger kids, and kids grow up, but then new younger kids take their place, so it's always sort of had this same base level of popularity. But what's happened is the older kids, first-generation Minecrafters, have made their way back to it, because it's like the hipster thing to be into again. They're like, Minecraft is back! I'm back in Minecraft, therefore it's relevant again! Uh, but no, it, it never stopped being relevant just because you weren't playing it, hipster Minecraft kids of the world. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Oh, uh, macerator, generator. I don't think these things are moving fast enough. This is going to start building up a stockpile, but it's never going to be enough to fill the alchemical chest. So I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, surely we must be getting close to bedrock back here. In many ways, I'm glad we're continuing the series just for this chamber, just so we can... Uh, you know, see that dig all the way down. You know, we started it, and I kind of want to see it through its entire life. But yeah, I think it's great that all of these people are coming back to Minecraft and, and still enjoying playing it. But I, I do think it's a bit silly for people to be like, ah, it's relevant again. It never stopped. It really never stopped. But anyway, where I was going with that is because there's a lot of people now returning to Minecraft after these long extended breaks, uh, some of my older Minecraft videos, like my old Tech at Legends videos, have been getting this this newfound surge of attention. And I, I realized, had this moment of revelation, while this new series was being released, you know, episodes 1 through 25, a lot of people were finding them, and they'd never found my channel before or seen my content. And so there's people who don't know anything about Tech at Legends or my history with Tech at Legends who are watching this series as sort of their first introduction to Tekkit Legends. 
and I feel bad for them. I feel so sorry. <laughs> Something else I realized is a lot of people that subscribe to my channel and I guess forgot they were subscribed to my channel, uh, one day they've woken up now and they've found that their subscription feeds are full of tech at legends. And uh, obviously, for a lot of them, that was less than ideal. And I've, I've actually had a net loss of subscribers <laughs> since doing this series. And uh, someone posted on the Discord a, a picture of their subscription feed after they'd sort of come back after a while. And they're like, oh, I wonder what Reese is up to. And their subscription feed was just nothing but me. And I was like, oh, that, that must be why. Because people are like not watching my videos. My videos aren't showing up for them. They don't, you know, for whatever reason, they're not interested. And then all of a sudden, kablam. It's just a, that was from third party over on the Discord. I just looked it up real fast. They're just suddenly there's all these videos from this random guy. So I don't blame them. Uh, I did say net loss, though. It's because we've also gained a ton of subscribers. So we've lost a lot, but we've gained a lot. And I think that the good thing is here is that it's sort of people who are inactive on the channel. All of this flood their news feed and they like fled for the hills to hide and you know, in terror of this sudden influx of tech videos. They weren't watching videos on the channel to begin with, so it's sort of okay that they've unsubscribed. The subscription number itself is sort of uh, pointless anyway. And uh, the people coming in to sort of take up their place, even though it's fewer people coming in, it's people who actually, you know, care about the content we're making now. You know, it's relevant to them. Uh, I, also, I oftentimes say that subscriptions are irrelevant, and I think that people take that the wrong way. You know, to mean that, oh, if you're a subscriber, you're irrelevant or I don't care. And that's not really what I mean. What I mean by that is that the number itself, no matter how many subscribers you have, it doesn't really mean anything in, in you know, as far as YouTube success. I mean, look at huge channels. Uh, PewDiePie has what, like 80, 000, 80 million, I should say, a subscriber? No, more than that. Something crazy at this point. He doesn't get that many views per video. And the reason is, you know, people subscribe, but they don't necessarily watch every video or they'll kind of forget about it or they'll move on to a different account. I get that a ton from people, you know, like, oh, hey, this is my alt account. This is my new account. And, you know, those old accounts stay subscribed. So the number of, of subscriptions isn't necessarily number of viewers. So I, I've never really put all that much into that number. Although, you know, hitting 30,000 by the end of the year, it looks like we're going to do it. And that is going to be pretty cool if it happens. So we've got everything we need for the advanced machine block. We've got a macerator out there. Scrap metal blade is what's next. Now, scrap metal blade, I don't know anything about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mouse over here and uh, I'm on a completely different computer. I'm on the capture PC. I'm opening up the old web browser and I am, uh, normally this would get cut out of a video, but I can't cut it out of this video because that's not the way this series works. Instead, I'm going to set you up here so you can watch this mesmerizing device Scale across the screen. Why type in scrap metal uh, near me? <laughs> Who Googles this? Who needs scrap metal? Let me comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with scrap metal. Scrap metal IC classic. Or maybe I should just do IC2. Let's do classic and we'll see what comes up. This seems familiar though. This seems like I should remember doing this. Uh, Tech at Legends discussions. This is it right here. Boom. Uh by putting metal in the recycler? I mean, that seems simple enough, I guess. I, we'll give that a try. Let's let's check out the recycler. Uh, I would have gone ahead and credited whoever had said that, but I wasn't paying attention. Compacting recycler. Is that better than a regular one? I don't think so. What do we need? Dirt, glowstone, refined? Why did I freak out about this before? Why was I like, uh, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I was still under the stress of getting all of this released and uh, adding anything else to my, my list of to-dos was just like a, an absolute no-no for me. Recycler, compressor, machine block. I think we might have everything we need for that down here. Uh, no, you know what we need is some redstone. I'm going to have all of these recipes memorized in no time. I should say, I've had a lot of fun playing this. And I've been thinking about, you know, what we can do next once we're done here. And obviously, I've still got Sky Factory 4 playing through. And maybe something new with me and Jenna on the horizon. Who can say? But uh, I, I don't know if I want to keep playing Tech at Legends. But I've been, or look, yeah, Tech at Legends. But I've been looking at Texit, uh, or not Texit? Is it Texit? Yeah, Texit three, Hexit three, Texit three, and that looks like a pretty fun time. It's sort of a mix of this and then Tech at Main, and then uh, Hexit. And we played, I believe it was Texit two, and that was a pretty good time. So I thought maybe we might look at that, but possibly as a live stream series because. I've been meaning to get back into live streaming and I've got a new setup I want to test out that's sort of, 
you know, we're going to have this setup that we've got now and have always had, obviously. And this isn't, this setup isn't going anywhere. But I've got a, a new setup that's for a bit of a more relaxed, laid back kind of streaming. And, you know, I'd be interested to set it up and put it through its paces. Didn't mean to put that there. Not going to break it because what if something bad happens? <laughs> I don't have my I don't have my drill with me. So if I put iron in there, that's gonna give me metal scrap. That's not gonna give me anything. What if I put a lot of iron in there? What are we gonna get then? Lots of nothing. Wow. It says it's a recycler, but what what is happening? When it says recycler, does that mean it's just it's getting rid of my waste product into the void? I guess it's better than you know throwing it into a landfill somewhere where it's gonna be for a thousand years. As opposed to that, you can just get rid of it entirely, break it down, and send it into the ether, which appears to be what's happening here. Oh, there we go. We did get some scrap metal. It's strange that it doesn't show you the recipe, though, for it. I mean, Maybe the idea is that it's supposed to be obvious you put it in the recycler, but I don't know about that. Is that the cheapest metal? We're not hurting for EMC, so I don't need it to be the cheapest metal. But iron is 256. I think tin is 128. I don't know why I'm typing in 120. Oh, it's all gotten out of control, hasn't it? Tin. Oh, it's also 256. We'll go with iron because we know iron's working. And I think the tin is from the same mod as the recycler out there. So there's no reason why it wouldn't work. But at the same time, I don't want to risk it because we know that iron is working. Speaking of working, me and Jenna did an episode that was only like 10 minutes long. And then there was that episode really early on in the series where the game crashed. And I had to cut that bit out because no one wanted to watch the game reboot, obviously. But I've been thinking I need to do an extra long episode one of these days to sort of make up for that. So maybe the one where we go fight the end dragon can be that. Maybe we can make it like you know extended and, and super long. And, and that way, what I'll probably end up doing is adding up the time of all the episodes in the playlist, dividing by the number of episodes, and then whatever is missing. You know, so tw uh, however many episodes divided by 25, because each one's supposed to be 25 minutes long. However many minutes are, are absent from the, what the total should be. I'll add on to another episode, if that makes sense. If math, if Does math make sense? Okay. We are building a macerator, a rotary macerator. And for that, we need the scrap. Oh, wait, we got to compress this stuff. We got to have eight of them to make a single scrap metal. And then a single scrap metal is going to give us a single scrap metal blade. Oh, okay. We're going to be doing this for a while. That's fine. You're done with your uranium? Who's uranium? Someone commented that on uh, on one of the videos. They said every time I said uranium, all they could think of was, was Shin. I've, I've been re-watching, and I do this occasionally. I'll go back and watch old Yogscast Minecraft videos, like old Minecraft series. But I got on a real kick the other day, and I watched through all of Whale Lords, and then went back to Trials of Derpules, Trials of Scrobles, the Corvax Christmas Cracker. You know, I watched through all of those, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go all the way back. And I am. I'm going through Tekkit right now, their old Tekkit Classic series. That is an absolute delight. I'd forgotten how easy it was to do a Minecraft series back then, though, because I don't want to say it's boring, but it's it's very English. <laughs> no, it is. It's very slow going. You know, it's very chill and relaxed. And there's these long bits where they don't really know what they're doing. And they're just sort of fiddling around and talking very softly like, Oh, Simon, why isn't this? Wow, oh, it's not going. It's, something's wrong. You know? Not very high energy. But also, I guess because, you know, it didn't need to be back then. It was a simpler time to create Minecraft content. You know, 2012 or 13, whenever that series was made. I believe 2012. I should know. I did my ticket series back then. And it certainly was a lot different than the content I produce now. It kind of makes me pine for those days of simplicity. Because I certainly enjoy the series still. And I don't know if maybe that's nostalgia. Maybe I wouldn't enjoy it as much now. You know, if I've just found these guys playing ticket, if I'd be like, ugh, boring. But I don't think I would. Because there's uh, something to their personalities where you're kind of willing to watch them bumble and fumble around like a bunch of stupid children who don't know what they're doing. It sort of makes it better. Now, how many of these do we need? We need seven of them, and we have enough for three. Fan flipping tastic. Uh, how, do, do we need to put more iron in there? Do we just need to leave this going? You know what we could do to speed this process up some? Is we could take half of the overclockers out of here. And yes, it'll slow this down, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We're going to come back over here, and uh, we're going to throw them in here. And that shouldn't, yeah, draw too much power. That'll get these made a lot quicker. 
And then one, oh. Oh, wow, that was disturbing. Went a long time without making any, and then it goes through like a little burst where it makes a ton of them. What we need to do is get enough to make all of our scrap metal chunks, and then we can move the speed upgrades into there and get those all made up real quick. I should have done a math earlier to determine exactly how many of these would go into. So that's enough for two more. That'll give us five total. We're not far off. We're going to need more iron, though. So you got to have a ton of excess iron if you want to make one of these. Fortunately, we do. Well, excess iron or excess EMC, which we have a lot of, too. I'm curious to see how much we have. Maybe before the end of this episode, we can go throw all of the blaze rods and, and get a total. This should be enough right here, though, if I did the, the rudimentary math in my head correctly. That should be enough. So let's take the speed upgrades out of here. Kind of leave it going at normal speed. Throw them in here. Five, uh, eight, sixteen. Oh, well, hold on. We're going to need one more. Okay. I didn't do the rudimentary math quickly enough, I guess. This will get them done, though. Hey! Seven of those. We'll put this back into here. I'll leave all the rest of that running. We'll come back if we need some more of these later. We'll have them. Wait a minute. No, hold on. I need you. <laughs> You're, I need you for this, you macerated goober. But first, these. we got to surround those with flint. I think we might get this done in this episode. I didn't think we would. I sort of, when I started the episode, decided, no, no, no rushing. We're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to do this correctly, uh, no matter how long it takes. But, uh, yeah, didn't think we'd actually get it done this episode. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. we got to get ourselves a electric wrench, and we need to charge it up. I think, uh, I haven't gotten a comment on this yet, or if I have, I haven't read it. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a, not a lot of comments but there was a good chunk of comments spread across many videos. Not small videos either, not many ones, many, like multiple. And if someone's commented and told me that I was wrong about the electric wrench, I haven't gotten that comment yet. But I think my mistake was that in Industrial Craft Classic, and I might be wrong, but Industrial Craft Classic is like the original Industrial Craft 2, where when you right-click something with the electric wrench, it's always lossless, where it's only in Industrial Craft three or new or whatever it's called uh, right clicking it you have to have it in lossless mode i don't know that to be a fact <laughs> it, it hasn't failed me yet though the right click with this thing i, I think that i might be onto something there let's get all of these excess blaze oh man we can't even carry them all with us so this isn't even going to be an accurate uh, tally of how much emc we've got but well, there you go everyone 12 million and everything we're doing here right now Getting this rotary macerator, this is all in the name of making EMC even faster. So we can have the best armor, and we can get Jenna back over here. And we can go back into the nether, and we can kick that stupid ender dragon's face with a, with a bottle of mace. So that's going to speed up again. Now the thing with this is, you throw the longer it runs, the higher this speed will go. All the way up to 100%, I believe, maybe even faster. Uh, if, if it's always running, then you can just leave it. And the way we've got it set up is it's always going to be running because there's always going to be blaze rods getting pumped into it. So we could just walk away and leave it. But if you wanted to keep it going all of the time and it's not all... Like if you wanted to keep it always charged up to 100%, but just not always going to be working, you could throw a lever on it or you could throw a... Uh, something like a redstone torch. I think you could probably even put a redstone block under it as long as it's getting a signal. That'll keep it running... Even if it's not working, this number should stay and possibly even continue to go up. Yeah. Uh, the, the reason you wouldn't want to do that is because it is drawing power, I believe, when that's going. So if you have a limited amount of power, you don't want to leave it turned on. So maybe turn the lever off. But it will start to drop in speed. So again, though, this is going to go much faster. Can we put speed upgrades in here? We can't. So we are limited on how fast this thing can go. We can't make it any faster. But I think it is a lot faster once it's fully charged than using overclocker upgrades and now we can move our overclocker upgrades over here i think it's more fuel efficient too i say fuel efficient energy efficient to make the advanced machine over using the overclocker upgrades are we out of power we're not we're not generating enough power for this understandable we'll limit this then we'll limit it to like four over here and we'll just try to get all this done try to get all this backlog cleared out we need to do something about power, though. All of these generators is, is great, and it's functional, and it's a lot better now that we've got them all hooked up using the glass fiber cables. Wait a minute. No, okay, good. I was going to say, that's not connected to these. It's, it's, that's going to cause problems, but it's not. <laughs> hey, it's the end of the episode. Hey, thank you folks for watching. 
God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.